So today we're talking about the Battle of Jericho, where uh, God helps the Israelites take control of Jericho. Um, so the Lord says to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands, along with its king and its fighting men. March around the city once with all the armed men. Do this for six days. Have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. When you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpets, have the whole army give a loud shout. Then the wall of the city will collapse and the army will go up. Everyone straight in. So after hearing this, Joshua commands all of his you know, people to do that. And so on the first day they, they go and they just march kind of silently except for the, the uh, trumpets. And then on the seventh day, they go seven times around and then the walls come crashing down after they give their war cry. Um, so this story to me is kind of an incredible uh, display of patience because these you know, you have to tell an entire army to just like, okay, we're gonna do it, but just wait a minute. You know, it's kind of, um, it's really easy to parallel with your own life. Like I'm, I really want this to happen and you, you pray for it and you, you know, you tell God how badly you want whatever it is you're praying for to happen. And he's like, on my own time, you know, you just have to wait. And it's, it's easy to forget and be discouraged that um, it's not on your time, it's on God's time. Um, so, uh, it kind of makes you think about some other walls that may need to be broken down also. Um, for me, it's a friendship that's been damaged for years and, um, we've both kind of put up walls to stop ourselves from getting hurt by the other. And, um, I think we both know that the only way to mend the relationship is to take down those walls and really have the hard conversations and, you know, pick up the broken pieces and start to heal. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, sometimes breaking down a wall can make you feel really vulnerable, but I think God is calling, calling us to make ourselves vulnerable um, and break down those walls so that we can pick up those pieces and, and move forward with healing faith. Um, so one thing I want you to think about, or a couple of things I want you to think about this week or what are what are some of the brokenness that you see in the world um and what do those walls look like um and what are some things that god may be asking you to do to help bring down those walls that you're seeing um so go ahead and share your highs and lows and talk about a time when something unexpected happened in your life <laughs>